here are three YouTube channels that have gained thousands of followers and millions of views by creating YouTube shorts around historical facts and stories using AI-generated images and an AI voiceover. All of them are monetized and likely making thousands of dollars. Now, what if I told you that there's an AI tool out there that can help you create similar YouTube shorts by writing the script for you, generating the right images, music, and voiceover, and also auto-captioning your shorts without you having to use any other AI tool. The tool we're gonna use is Simplified AI. It's about to blow your mind because I'm gonna take you through all of the steps that you need to do to create your own AI generated videos in a matter of minutes. So hit subscribe and let's get started. The first step to creating our historical videos is generating the right ideas. If you look at the reference channels, you will see that they do a lot of scandalous facts because they tend to do really well. And we wanna mirror the same approach because it's likely to get us more views. So for this, we'll head on over to simplify.com and use this grid menu on the top right to select AI writer as our first option. Here we'll use the prompt box to ask the AI to give us ideas for a YouTube Shorts channel about scandalous history fact. Infamous love affairs. Love that. The next step is going to be to get our script. Again, if you look at the reference videos, you will see that they start with a dramatic hook, which is often also the title of the video. And then they share the facts in brief, keeping the language very dramatic and suspenseful. So once again, we're going to use the prompt box here on Simplified and give it instructions based on what we just discussed. Keep in mind that the more descriptive your prompt is, the better results you're going to generate. Write a YouTube short script for a 40 second video on the topic three infamous love affairs that shook the world. Keep the language dramatic and make the title the hook. Keep it crisp. And that looks pretty good. We can now click on this little pencil icon under the generated result and it will get opened in the editor and here we can make any changes that we want to. I'm going to go ahead and remove the narrator cues and make the hook more crisp. Remember that you have about three seconds with short videos to hook your viewer and you don't want to waste that time on fluff. Now, that the script is ready, let's go ahead and open another tab for the simplified editor. Once again, click on the checkered box on the top right and select the video workflow. And here in the top line itself, we'll select the new video option. And this opens a window where we'll select our format. I'm gonna go ahead with YouTube Shorts and then click on create project to open the editor. Here in the center, you have the blank canvas and on the left, you have the entire assets library to choose your assets from. So the first thing we're gonna do is just copy the text for the entire script and come back to the video editor and choose the media tab on the left. Within this, on the top right, we'll choose the audio option. And here you will see an option for turning text to speech. Click on this and then paste your script in the text box that appears. Now select your language and narrator voice from the drop down. We're gonna go ahead with US English and Matthew as the voice. Then simply click on the generate icon at the bottom of the screen and the AI will generate a voiceover for you. So go ahead, give it a little listen. Three infamous love affairs that shook the world. Cleopatra, the queen of the Nile, is said to seduce the mighty Julius Caesar at the peak of the Roman Empire and change the fate of history forever. And once you're satisfied with the voiceover, click on this option on top that says add to artboard. And your entire voiceover will be added to the timeline here. Now for the next step, we need to add media to match our voiceover. If you look at the reference images, they use a lot of AI generated imagery and we want to go down the same path because that is really working on YouTube right now and we want to hop on that train. So to get these, you can simply use a tool like Mid Journey or Leonardo AI. I've actually downloaded several such images from Midjourney without even having a subscription. All you need to do is search for images from other people. So whatever your query is. For example, if you need a Roman goddess, you can just go ahead and type it in the search bar and it will show you all of the results that people have generated and you can sift through to find the images that you like. I just went ahead and downloaded a bunch of images like this and then I used this tool called Leapix, which basically adds a sense of movement to these videos makes it look like they're animated and then I save them as video clips. And now all we need to do is add these to the timeline. So I'm gonna go ahead, select the first image, drag it on the canvas in the first artboard and then I'm just gonna drag it to fit the screen. Then to add the other images, I'm just gonna add another artboard, add the image here and then keep adding all of the images in a similar fashion. Now once all of the images are added to the timeline, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the duration of the artboards to fit 
the duration of the voiceover. If the artboards are smaller than the duration of the voiceover, you will find that it gets cut and we don't want that. So go ahead, drag around the endpoints to adjust the duration. You might need to add or subtract a few images depending on how long your voiceover is. Once all of that is done, we can go ahead and add dramatic transitions between each clip to make it more dynamic and feel like dramatic. For this, simply hover your mouse between two clips on the timeline and you can click on this transition icon. This opens a window on the left and here just select the transition you like. I like this one. Uh, once I click on it, it gets added. You can just drag around the cursor to see how it looks. Final step is going to be adding dramatic music. You can also choose to just use the YouTube Shorts audio library or the Instagram Reels audio library. But I feel with shorts like this, having dramatic music really amps it up and you might not always find it in the social media audio library, right? So for this, we'll go to the audio option and then select the music tab and search for the music track right here. I want something dramatic. Now, once you find a track you like, simply add it to the artboard by clicking on it and then use the volume icon on the timeline to drop its volume down to a reasonable level so that your voiceover is audible. And with that, our first draft is done. Let's look at a little preview. Three infamous love affairs that shook the world. Cleopatra, the queen of the Nile, is said to have seduced the mighty Julius Caesar at the peak of the Roman Empire and changed the fate of history forever. That actually looks great, doesn't it? But it needs subtitles. So for this, we are first going to go ahead and export the video. Go to the top right corner and hit export and then download the video. And once it's downloaded, we are going to go to the video home dashboard on Simplify and then choose the generate subtitles option here. Here, we'll just select the portrait orientation, the style of subtitles we want. I'm going to go Go ahead with this dramatic one and in the next window we'll upload our video select the language and then the ai will take a couple of seconds to generate the subtitles for us now once the editor opens up we can make adjustments to the text style to fit the kind of look and feel we want i'm just going to go ahead and change the color of the text reposition it a little bit and remove any background that it may have and i'm also going to go ahead and change the font and with that we're done three infamous love affairs that shook the world Cleopatra, the queen of the Nile, is said to have seduced the mighty Julius Caesar at the peak of the Roman Empire and changed the fate of history forever. Now I can go ahead and choose to publish this piece on social media directly from Simplified itself. All I need to do is go to the top right corner and hit export and this will give me the option to publish on any platform of my choice. Obviously, you will need to connect it first. Now, if you're on the free plan with Simplified, your video will have a watermark and the maximum resolution will be 720p. But if you really want to get consistent with your social media content and grow your following, we highly recommend you get on one of the paid plans which start as little as $19 a month. So make sure you create and publish such content regularly if you want to ace it on YouTube and check out these videos next to learn how you can actually ace it on YouTube.